Honorable Minister of Heritage. How much time is there, Mr. Speaker? Uh, there are five minutes left for questions and comments. <clears throat> well, <laughs> no, no, I want to actually respond to the member from the New Democratic Party in, in, a, in, in, in the sense that I know that the, the member for uh, Eglinton Lawrence was, was on this uh, role here about Chihuahua governments, but I'll bring him back to the issue <laughs> at hand. The member from the NDP asked, what's the government doing about e-commerce? You know, so language from 1995 demonstrating his perhaps a gap between what's actually happening in the digital fact of government versus what was happening in the 1990s. I'll speak on, as, uh, on my own portfolio as Minister of Canadian Heritage and the things that we've done that we're very proud of with regard to digitizing government content and making sure that Canadian content is being supported like never before with regard to new media. First of all, we've put forward Bill C-32, the Modernizing Copyright Legislation, a good faith, comprehensive effort of modernizing copyright legislation where we're prepared to work with all opposition parties to make sure that this legislation works. We have a standalone legislative committee and this bill is going to go forward and be effective with regard to the digital economy. The first thing that the government has to do is to protect those, if we protect those uh, who want to harm Canada's uh, creators by stealing from them and ripping off and legitimizing piracy. So we're going to do that. Other things that, other things that we've done in, in my department, we've created the Canada Media Fund. We had the Canada Television Fund and the Canada New Media Fund before. We've merged them to, together to create the Canada Media Fund to support digital, uh, digital creations by Canada's creators to make sure that they're available on the platforms that they choose. Not only support television content, but also to support new media, video games, stuff that's streaming online, stuff that's available for download, uh, and to make sure that Canada's creators have access to more money than ever before to support the creation of content in the digital platform that they choose. In a recession, in a recession, we made a commitment in the last election campaign to maintain or increase funding for the CBC, and we've kept our word. And the reason why is because the CBC has modernized itself, and they've become a true pan-Canadian multimedia platform for Canadian content. And we've worked with the CBC to make sure that that's the role that they perform and that they are. The National Film Board has an iPad and iPhone and, uh, apps that make Canadian content streaming digital online for the first time than ever before. Thousands, tens of thousands of Canadian films and shorts, children's documentaries, uh, children's shows and documentaries are available free online through the web, through, through uh, iPad apps. So we've gone across the board. The, the publications fund supporting magazines for the digitization of it. There's been no government before in Canadian history that has a, had a more comprehensive and aggressive effort to make sure that Canadian content and that the government is more digitized than ever before than this government. The